Europe and good evening to Japan. Uh, before we start, could you just give me a feedback how you can see me and how you can hear me in the chat, please? Can you hear me well? All fine, thanks, Guido. So today we have an exception. Uh, I'm not going to present uh, myself, but I'll have uh, the creator and the main author of the IOFRAG platform with us, who will be presenting the main new features and the roadmap for the IOFRAG platform. Uh, you know that there are currently for Sigfox, there are hundreds of platforms available. Uh, one of the unique features of the IOFROC is that it's really something that uh, concentrates more on the device management, on the payment side, on the on, on, on the real on, on the real on the real Sigfox, Sigfox process, because it's not a universal platform, so it doesn't support MQTT currently. It doesn't support uh, 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 it doesn't support other protocols, but it's it doesn't support NBIoT. It doesn't support LoRa. But what it does is that, is that, that it supports uniquely Sigfox. And we really think that it's currently the best fitted platform for Sigfox um, in existence. I will, uh, the webinar will be around 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. I will have a, a, a nice space for your Q&A. And it will be an intermediate level, so nothing too technical if you would like to talk about APIs and uh, more uh, what is the architecture of the platform you can ask uh, you can ask in the q a session uh, one of the things that uh, i think it's very important uh, in the whole sigfox e ecosystem is that we really use uh, personas and we use scenarios uh, because uh, we have a tendency at sigfox to be very technical and to design things from the from 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 the table and not to, to think about users and not to think about the persona that we are targeting. So with IOFROG, uh, they are concentrating on really doing doing stuff according to the scenarios, according to the real world, uh, uh, real world stuff. Not not a, not a, not a student kind of theoretical work, but it's something that really is usable. And currently, uh, IOFROC supports six main scenarios. Uh, one scenario is that it's one of the few platforms that really supports end user. So they have this, uh, uh, they have uh, full mobile application support. They have the full dashboard. Uh, they have uh, different types of uh, user rights. So basically, if 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 the leakage detector is used by your grandmother, she wouldn't see the whole settings, but she would just see the, the messages about the leakage at home. So it's really end user and B two C B two C really platform. The other scenario is the Sigfox operator, mm -hmm. where you want to test and you want to showcase different devices. You want to run POCs, and you also want to have the platform to be branded. So you will see later on in the presentation that IOFROG did branding for several Sigfox operators. And we think that uh, around 10, 15 more operators were joining the, uh, the branding campaign. The third one is uh, scenarios of the integrators, where they want, they need to define, deploy, manage, and evaluate POCs, proof of concepts, or proof of values, and, under, and run it under their own brand. So it's open for integrators. Uh, the fourth scenario is using IOFROG not as a total solution, but using it as just a middleware, where you use IOFROG for device management and for connectivity management and for message parsing. Uh, but you output the, all the data into Azure, into Power BI, into whatever, into Salesforce into whatever visualization or business intelligence platform you want to use. So you are not locked into the into the necessity of having 
uh, or, or deploying deploying uh, IOFROC as a, as a total solution, but you can use it as a middleware. Uh, then the architecture of the IOFROC is uh, scalable and it can be used for massive field deployment. So hundreds of thousand devices, it's not an issue for IOFROC and it's not only for POCs, but it can be used for massive field deployment. And also what is important for some of the customers, uh, even the IOFROC is hosted in, in Amazon. Uh, web services, uh, so it's cloud. It's, it's a cloud cloud-based application. It can be also hosted on the premises. So if you have a customer who insists that it, the software must be run on the premises, it can be, it can be, it can be used on the premises. Uh, I think that one of the you know the the I hope the, the the platforms they they proud themselves. So I have this graph and I have this workflow and I can do this dashboard. What, what we, we see from the field are the things that are far more important in the platform than various kinds of nice maps or nice, nice dashboards. Uh, the, the, the most practical things are missing from most of the platforms. And I think this, that is done properly in, the, in IOFROG. So you can do massive device provisioning. You can do massive user provisioning. You can, you can do massive device deployment, device management with downlinks. You can manage the connectivity directly in IOFROG. You can do user rights management. You can process the metadata coming from, from, from Sigfox. You can do also the device performance evaluation, which is, which is very important. So you know precisely how many messages got lost, what is the battery voltage at different devices. So this whole device stuff is, is, is pretty crucial and important uh, in any kind of, of real, real world deployment. Plus, uh, IOFRO can also do payment. So if you want to charge yourself, if you want to run a service and you want to use your connectivity, your devices, uh, so the payment is, is, is incorporated and is, is, and is included. So, um, let's go to the news. What is, what is new about the IOFRO? We have done one of the things that we are, that we are underestimating is sometimes the level of, 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 of the, or overestimating is, is the level of users. So what we have done is that we have done very easy step-by-step -step setups of IOFROG really, uh, because you have many options how, how to, whether you use the IOFROG connectivity, your own connectivity, dev kit connectivity, uh, whether you must inform the customers about the, the, the coverage. So it's not that, that easy. So we really uh, set up uh, even the IOFRO inter interface itself. It's not that complicated. We did we did screenshots and we did step by step instructions how to set up uh, how to set up IOFRO, uh, especially with some these simple hardware devices. So uh, it's available at ask simple simple hw.eu. Please use it. Give us a feedback if there's something missing. But it's 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 readily available. And now I will hand uh, uh, the mic to David Jenchak, who is uh, who is the founder and the CEO of uh, IOFROG, uh, to pick up and show you uh, what is what is what is new in in IOFROG and uh, some of the some some of the new features. David, your floor. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you, Pablo, for introduction. Um, I hope you uh, hear and maybe see me well. Um, I started sharing my screen, so hopefully you will see uh, the live application. Just give me a sec. I... Pavel, do you see my screen now, please, just for confirmation? Not yet. It says loading. Load, please wait while presenter loads our screen. Not yet. Mm -mm. I am. Wait a second. Oh, now one, okay. it's loading. Now it's loading. Okay. 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 Great. You see the screen? Yeah. I will frog. 
perfect yeah even so um okay so in like next uh, three four hours we will go through uh, all features that um, <laughs> are inside um, it's difficult to to shorten it um, I would try to go like uh, uh, through main features and maybe in uh, Q&A just raise your raise your hand raise the questions and I will try to answer um, all, all your questions um, uh, a bit later so here's the main dashboard uh i have echo uh here's the main dashboard uh where you see uh, uh the latest messages uh connectivity expirations uh, and connectivity utilization in uh, uh last 30 days plus the tiles uh, when one tile represent uh simply one device uh, you can um, configure uh, what you want to see on the on this tile. Uh, at this moment, we offer uh, three options. If you want to see the last message, uh, last uh, five messages, or the position uh, um, in the map, uh, you also see that different device types, like for example, uh, SimplePack uh, Wi-Fi, offers a different uh, dashboard uh, than, uh, uh, for example, this IoT sensor, uh, which are um, represented by, by these four charts, uh, temperature, humidity, uh, pressure, and, uh, and dew point. So what we do that we try to communicate with all partners, with all manufacturers, and together design dashboards in a way that this dashboard really represents uh, the goal of, of, of this device. And it's not only a matter of showing the, uh, this, uh, this dashboard, but also it uh, differs in a, uh, in a history. So for example, if we have kind of device type that is about uh, charts because it's collecting uh, various data, then in a history, you will see uh, this chart. If it's uh, a different kind of uh, sensor uh, like the uh, carbon uh, uh, carbon detector, uh, you see temperature, humidity, uh, CO, or maybe uh, air quality level. And these, <clears throat> these screens are designed uh, per uh, device type. So if we onboard a, a different device, if we start cooperation with different device manufacturer, uh, we try to define uh, these screens that they uh, serve the, the purpose of, of device as best as, as, as we can. Uh, for every device, you can see the full uh, stream of, of, of messages that uh, if you click uh, on a row, it shows uh, all the details that were sent in, in, in the message. So you see the, the, the name of the action, you see time, you see type of a message and uh, sequence, uh, sequence number. You can uh, configure uh, every device type and here is an example of, uh, of SimplePack. Uh, just a basic uh, information. Uh, what is your radio zone? If you want to turn on and off uh, SMS, email, mobile notifications, uh, service messages. Here you can set up what is, um, uh, what, what is your preference for uh, for uh, uh, for location source because you know I, and I'm sure you are already familiar with uh, Sigfox devices and maybe other Sigfox platform. You have several several types of sources uh, that may serve as a source of uh, location. Uh, you can uh, uh, have a device which is equipped with uh, Wi-Fi sniffing, uh, maybe with a GPS tracker or you may rely on less precise but very simple uh, Sigfox uh, Atlas uh, localization or uh, a new option from, from Sigfox called uh, Atlas, uh, Atlas Wi-Fi. Uh, that means that the, the payload 
that is sending MAC addresses of uh, found of discovered uh, discovered um, uh, Wi-Fi Wi-Fi routers is translated to a latitude and longitude via a Sigfox service. And of course, some uh, devices are not moving by nature, like uh, your sensor at, at home, so you can easily set a fixed uh, location, and then everywhere in the map you will see uh, this, uh, this location. So this is just, a, just general uh, settings. Here, for a, for a simple pack, uh, you, now that you can devise hundreds of parameters, because API, especially API version 6, is super flexible. Um, so uh, you can define and change all these uh, parameters. And based on the, the changes here, uh, we generate a downlink uh, string that is sent to device after this device requests uh, this new downlink. So, um, if you want to try yourself, you can change the parameters here. You see the downlink, you, uh, you save it, and then just don't forget to request a new downlink setup uh, from your device. For example, if you have a simple pack, you just have to uh, extra long press the, the button. If you have different, in some other devices, you need to um, you need to remove batteries and put them back, or there, there is a, a different trigger uh, how to how to request a downlink. Then, if you have more devices, what you can do is you can create the categories and then you can put device into specific uh, categories just like that. And in other views. Uh, you can filter uh, devices by, by the category. In the notification settings, um, you can customize, you can customize the notification for every event that is sent by device. So here again, we are uh, at, um, at SimplePack, uh, you, you see the list of all different events that or messages that can be sent by the device and you can easily uh, turn on and off what uh, kind of messages you want to um, you want to see uh, or you want to get uh, on the mobile phone or via sms via email or via push notifications geo rules um, again uh, for moving device for checking devices um, you just enter the address. Uh, it's Zoom. You create a uh, you create a circle. You see the latitude, longitude. You can change the uh, change the ra radius. You can move a, a circle. Uh, you change the or you select the type of um, uh, of, of the rule if it's uh, arrival or departure. Uh, you enter the name and then you can edit as a new rule, and then you will be notified based on these, uh, based on these rules. Microservices, um, it's uh, more for like integrators and partners, uh, but maybe even for, for people who like to evaluate how we are processing the messages. Um, at this moment, there is a one default microservice, but we, may, we can easily add a custom microservice for, for partners. Uh, you name the microservice, you enter URL, uh, body, here you see the attributes that can be sent. And uh, this is just a simple way, this, in some application it's called webhook. Um, it's a simple way how to, uh, how to forward all messages that we receive from device to your uh, database, to your backend system, to CRM maybe to SAP, um, anything. At this moment, we support REST API. Uh, in the future, uh, we, we, we also plan MQTT or other kinds of uh, transfer, uh, but it, it, it's based on, on demand. So at this moment, uh, we stick to, to REST API. Sharing. Um, 
simple case. Uh, you are owner of device. You can do whatever you want with your device. But there are situations you need to share device with your colleague that also has uh, an account in, uh, in IOFROG. So here you enter uh, his her email address and you grant an access to such user. And from the time, this particular user will see uh, your device. At this moment, um, there are um, no like specific rights you can assign, but uh, for the future, we plan to add uh, different levels like that uh, the shared device can be just, just read or, or can be updated or, or deleted, um, uh, uh, whatever you can imagine. Public channels, this is a very new feature. Um, you can create a public uh, channel that is represented by a specific URL. And if you are add device to this channel, then anybody who has an access to this URL, uh, even if he, she doesn't have an access to uh, IOFROG, can uh, see, uh, see device. Uh, I can show you an example. It says um, uh, one of the examples you see that whoever enters this URL uh, will uh, see devices in this very simple, uh, but I believe um, powerful uh, application. And you can immediately see the, the history. Uh, you can see some charts if they are available. Uh, you can see uh, location. So anybody with, with this URL can, can see it. Um, it may be useful not just for sharing with your friends, but uh, if you have uh, devices dedicated, for example, for municipalities, for, uh, for um, uh, for quality of the air, of, of water, and the, the city wants to share it with, with the citizens, this could be a very convenient uh, way how to, how to share the data. Uh, I just check the comments. Mario has some issues. Are you, uh, uh mario is it better or yeah he, he dialed through he dialed through he dialed Perfect. through thank phone, you, thank phone. You. because i'm sorry when, when i'm when i'm sharing the screen i don't see the comments so everything's fine okay thank you thank you just get uh, tell me if, if something is wrong so um this was a very quick introduction to um uh to how to set up and what are the possibilities uh what you can do with your device and this is what you see now is just one kind of of dashboard I will show you a different kind because maybe if you uh, administer more devices, um, these styles are not very uh, convenient how to work with uh, dozens or maybe hundreds of, of, of devices. So for these kind of users, we have this uh, table view where uh, you can filter and sort, um, uh, so sort all these devices. Here you see the categories uh, I was talking about um, in, in a setup. So you can nicely see what device in, in you know, my favorite, what is in support category, what is in air quality uh, category, for example, etc. You can also uh, trigger all these, these, um, these actions, including setup uh, history. Uh, one interesting thing might be to check the connectivity. Uh, here in this example, you see that this device is using your third party connectivity. In IOFROG, we support uh, two options. You may have your own connectivity, um, uh, especially if you are a Sigfox operator or if you are a big partner who has its own contract. Uh, and in such a uh, case, we are able to um, register devices uh, against uh, your own uh, device type if you provide us an access uh, to do so. Uh, in this uh, example, we don't have an access. So we, use, we see that some information are not available to us. Um, and in this case, the user is using uh, its own third party connectivity. But 
maybe from whatever reason uh, you decide to uh, to switch to our connectivity uh, and uh, also pay uh, pay or have access to our platform on commercial uh, basis, not just for a trial period. So in this case, you have to go to your backend uh, sigfox.com, get your car current uh, uh, pack code, and um, uh, if you enter it, you can choose uh, the product. And uh, uh, after you fill all this uh, this, this detail, um, you will be navigated to shopping cart. And once you pay for it, um, the device will be transferred from third party connectivity to our connectivity. And in such case, uh, we can help you better with uh, support and with, with, with your device because we will have a full access uh, to, uh, to your device in Sigfox network. Maybe David, uh, if you could explain when we set up the white branding for uh, Sigfox operators, uh, then they are using their own connectivity and they get money from the connectivity. Is that correct? So they, For, they are running their own instance. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, okay. Let, let, let's let's switch to this option. Uh, if you are a partner, and doesn't matter if you are a private company or if you are a Sigfox um, operator um, who really wants to quickly uh, establish a platform and offer your services to your customers. Then in such case, we offer uh, something which is called a uh, white label solution. Uh, for white label solution, uh, we collect some, uh, some, some inputs from, from you. We have a special form. And based on these, uh, these inputs, uh, we can, what we can do is we can create a solution that is running under your domain. And also uh, the configuration um enables us that the the, the, the money is transferred uh, the money from your customers is transferred to your account first so you are the collector of um, uh, of, 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 of money for for the services and then uh, we will invoice you our services uh, at the end of the month uh, just based on the price uh, we agreed on. Uh, this price differs on, on, on a volume, uh, on number of devices uh, you have connected. More devices you connect with us, uh, the price is, is, is cheaper. Um, so uh, this, is, this is one option. Uh, usually we are able to build such website uh, in one week. So we try to really be, be agile and give you a possibility to, um, to 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 have a plat to have fully running platform with all these uh, the, these features in very short time. The advantage is that when we add support for new devices um, for uh, another partner, you will also benefit from it. If we fix an issue, uh, you benefit from it. If we add a, a new features, a new feature, uh, same. Uh, so it's like real uh, wide branding um, uh, solution. But on the other side, we try to add more and more uh, flexibility for customization. Uh, so obviously you can have your own logo, um, colors, uh, but also some, some other um, specific features like where the money is, is, is going, what is preferred uh manufacturer when uh, your customers are going to onboard new devices etc et are you are some... able to, to show us okay yeah. Great, thanks. yeah yeah <laughs> it's ready uh here is one one example of a wide label solution for a french company next like um they they manufacture great um carbon uh carbon detectors and air quality uh monitors uh, here is another example uh, of uh, of Heliot, the Swiss uh, Swiss Sigfox operator that is also using uh, our, our platform. So it's, it looks similar, um, but um, uh, they they have they they, they colors logo uh, own URL uh, whatever is, uh, is 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 needed. Right? 
So this is about wide label solution. Uh, uh, Pavel, did I answer your question? Yeah, yeah, or, thanks, yeah. Thanks, definitely. Yeah. Good. Um, another another view is this map view, um, where you can see uh, when you can see devices. Here you see that in my testing environment, I I have devices from different uh, states, not just from Czech Republic. Some are in Norway, Port Portugal. Um, uh, Spain or France, uh, one is in, in Malta, I believe. Uh, so you can click on it, you can see what device it is, what is the mode, uh, last seen. Uh, you can uh, zoom to one particular device uh, from a table. Um, very easy, very convenient. You can filter by, by categories. Um, uh, Full filter here um, to give you some some idea how we are going to improve this in the future, and it's also in a roadmap that um, we are now building a new new dashboard which will be dedicated for tracing. So if you have a fleet of cars you want to you want to manage, you will be able to see all the cars here, including uh, uh, geo uh, locational rules. And based on your rules, you will you will not see just this this this, this car is, is is moving, but you will you will see that this car entered specific area or left specific uh, specific specific area. So we, at this moment, we cooperate with one of our uh, customers from Croatia uh, to design this uh, this device. Uh, this this dashboard well so it really serves the the purpose for for anybody who is interesting in in tracing uh, the last dashboard the default dashboard that, that that we have here is for we call it diagnostic uh, so is if if you have devices in let's say more problematic in, in environment uh you can see here like number of um, uh, missing messages, receive messages, and a ratio between missing and um, uh, and received uh, messages when the device was last seen, when it was activated. What is the uh, level um, of, of of signal for the four devices that we we uh, we access the backend? Uh, because this is a, one example of um, uh, cons and pros. If you have your own connectivity, it's fine. But if we have, if we don't have, sorry, if we don't have an access uh, to your backend, obviously we cannot get all all this uh, this uh, information. Uh, here under profile, <clears throat> these are very convenient functionalities like changing the, the user uh, password, uh, but also the notifications, where uh, you can extend. Or uh, the, uh, the uh, increase the balance of, of number of credits. The credits are currently used only for SMS messages. Emails are free. Push to push to mobile devices are, are, are free. But obviously, we also have to pay for sending SMS messages. So if you create a new user account, you get um, I think twenty or thirty, mes uh, 30 uh, messages for free. Uh, once it's uh, it's too low, we send you an email, and uh, you have an uh, option to uh, to buy the credits uh, from us. Uh, at this moment, one credit is one uh, one SMS. Uh, here you see number of different uh, mobile uh, mobile devices that are connected uh, to your account and uh, are. Uh, subject of uh, push notification. This is my test environment. So you see there are like many, many devices uh, connected. Here under profile, you can define the categories I was talking uh, about uh, during device setup. You see that you see also you see how many devices uh, are linked uh, to this specific uh, category. Here is the place where you can create your own uh, public uh, public channels, and then you go to device settings, and you assign specific uh, or particular device to this specific 
channel. Uh, before you uh, buy anything from us, you will be uh, you will be forced to fulfill all uh, billing uh, information. We also support uh, we also support reverse charging. So if you are out, uh, outside European Union or inside European Union and you are um, you are a corporation, if you enter the what number. Uh, we will in invoice you with uh, uh, zero uh, zero value added tax. And here you see all orders. Uh, you can print uh, print the order. Uh, just very very convenient. I think we are like running out of time. I'm not sure like uh, how long I've been uh, I've been talking to you, uh, but uh, more or less uh, we went through all major features there are of course some 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 features that are specific to, to specific customers like api or um, uh, or for or details of forwarding messages to to different system um, etc maybe it's good to go through the list of um, supported devices oh here Go to support. We try to make it updated, but you know. Uh, and here you have supported devices. Here you see the list of devices we do support, and we are very open to to this. We build a framework that enables us to add sub to add the support for new device type uh, quite quickly in matter of days. Um, so we are. Uh, continuously in discussion with uh, other manufacturers and other partners around the world. Uh, at this moment, uh, we have a uh, support for Finkstra and Oyster uh, GPS tracker in, in a pipeline. Uh, but uh, if you don't find device here on the list and it's something that is really interest for you, Please uh, send us an email, and we will consider building a support for for the device you have. Yeah, it's just a matter of uh, priorities and and business, of course. So if if you commit yourself to register a specific number of uh, of devices, let us know. We consider it. Um, if you have documentation or if you provide us contact to manufacturer, uh, we we talk to them and we can build the support. So you see that there, at this moment there are like very different types of, of devices, from simple smoke alarm, different water leakages, uh, GPS trackers, uh, air quality uh, sensors, uh, general um, general meters, uh, combined GPS Wi-Fi trackers. Uh, parking pill or electronic seal again very interesting devices of course all devices from simple hardware uh, we do support Sensit from from Sigfox uh, recently we added support um, for Chinese uh, manufacturer Citravel that offers uh, very reasonably priced uh, devices for carbon monoxide or smoke alarm for example they do more. We just didn't have enough time to to support them. We have support for RFID reader, uh, also very very interesting. And for uh, for developers, we we have this generic type of uh, of device that enable you to connect any undocumented device. It doesn't do too much, but it, it's good for like testing and it's good for for prototyping. Uh, so we will ren we, we render the payload the, the raw payload that was sent by by this device and for for one for one partner in french polynesia in papeta uh, we implemented the support for for analog gps it's not it's non sigfox device but um, enables us to support kind of transition period uh, from old analog gps devices to um, to more modern uh, IoT devices and to overcome this this period because if customer already has uh, some of these devices 
uh, and it, it is not ready to switch to Sigfox devices yet. This is this is kind of, kind of option. When we are here okay. on the documentation page, you can uh, go to features uh, sooner or later and go through um, go through all these features that that are described here. Uh, if you are missing something, uh, it, it, uh, just raise your hand and, and uh, contact us anytime. Pa Pavel, sorry. David, could you show us your mobile phone application? Do you have your phone? And can you? I don't know whether you have you have shown off your mobile application. That's bit okay. That's bit tricky. I will try to at least show you some screenshots uh, because I uh, it's not I cannot see it um, more easily. So give me a sec. Uh, let's go to screenshots, graphics, iOS. I hope you see it. Here, example of uh, push notifications uh, uh, shown on a locked screen of uh, IO, uh, iOS app. So you see if, uh, if in this case, simply detected a flood uh, in your bathroom, uh, you, are not, you are notified in, in, in such a very convenient way. And here we have examples of a list of devices uh, you see on your mobile, just very random uh, screenshots, uh, charts. Um, Maybe we, you should stress out that the application is free of charge and it's available and it's available oh, yeah. both in the App Store and in the Play Store. <clears throat> yeah, 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 that's true. Uh, just uh, if you type IOFROG in any of these uh, stores, uh, you, should, you should easily find the app, um, and as Pavel said, exactly, it, it's free and it, it will be free. For for partners that have like a uh, thousand devices with us, we also offer to build a wide branding um, iOS and Android applications. So then your customers may uh, search these stores and find uh, the app that is uh, named as, as as you want in, in in the colors you want and with with logo you have um so also it it gives you like very nice way how to how to be more uh visible and more attractive uh to your end customers uh, if you are a partner Maybe we switch to the presentation. Let's go whether we have covered all the themes, whether we have yep, covered thank you. all the, the novelties. So we, we covered the full native mobile application. We, we covered public channel. We covered improved geo rules. We covered multi-language support. Maybe I don't know whether you want to add something to the multi-language support, David. Okay, uh, today we support, I think, seven or eight languages. Uh, we can flexibly add uh, another one. Uh, if, if you are from a, from a country that, that speaking language we don't support, and if you are willing to help us with translation, we are definitely ready to add a support for, for, for your language. Okay. Multi-radio zone support and registration process. That's something yeah. one of the new fe new features. Yeah, chip for GPS tracker. Uh, that's that's uh, supported devices. We have seen that uh, already today. Roadmap. Maybe if you want to to, to say, okay. say a little bit about quick, the yeah. roadmap. Uh, and yeah, that... I already mentioned that we, we we plan to add new devices from fixed trial Oyster. Um, uh, we are looking for a good and reliable consumption meters that might be interesting for for some of you. And definitely in um, uh, in uh, Sigfox in in uh, Sigfox even in, in in Singapore, we are going to meet other partners uh, that that uh, we would love to 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 add a support for them. Um, Number two, uh, we already have design uh, for uh, improved UX uh, for mobile apps. 
uh, and we want to, to, to implement it. So applications will look more uh, attractive and the usability will be uh, improved as well. Um, at this moment, uh, for if you have a, if you are using Android app, uh, that in, in, in beta version, you can download from, from a store. Uh, there is a new possibility to uh, register new device just using a QR code, or you can enter the, the, the ID and, and PAC code as, as well. So you don't have to go to web, web application, which, which was mandatory uh, up to now. Later, we, we, we will add this support for iOS app as well. Uh, I already mentioned dedicated tracing dashboard uh, in web app. We are working now. Um, we, we, we try to, although we have dedicated mobile apps, we understand that sometimes uh, you want to use a web app on, on your mobile, uh, mobile phone. So we, we will try to improve uh, responsiveness. Um, we have API, but it's not public yet. Uh, we will use a Swigger, uh, Swigger, sorry, Swigger uh, to, uh, to publish uh, API for, for any third party uh, access. And um, last but not least, uh, we see the vibranding solution is something that we, we feel it's our advantage. And this is something we want to distinguish uh, from other various and also good uh, platforms that, that exist. Uh, but white label solution is something we, we um, are really committed to to, to improve uh, in the future. So we want to support our partners uh, with features that, that uh, uh, will make billing easier, uh, reporting, uh, more configuration, more flexibility, more uh, payment uh, uh, gateways. So this is where we are going to uh, to support not just our end users that they directly use IOFROG, but, but but we try more and more focus on on on, on the partners. So we, we help them to build their own uh, IoT platform and benefit from all the features we have implemented up to date and that we will be implemented in, in the future. Okay, thanks David for a wonderful presentation. I think uh, we definitely we definitely appreciated it and we are now open for Q&A. Uh, I have first request from Nicolas and maybe it could be interesting for others if you could show us uh, onboarding of a new device or at least uh, point us to the documentation, share the screen, uh, how, to, how to provision a device once you have uh, your own connectivity or the customer has their own connectivity. Okay. Uh... Do you see? Do you see my screen? No, not yet. Oh, not yet. No. Maybe I have to switch it again. No. Now it I says can see your I'm sharing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can see your screen. Okay, good. So back to back to iofrog uh, web app. Here, if you add new device, in the first step. Uh, we also really suggest to check the the coverage at a place you want to install your device, but you can skip. Uh, if I enter some ID, you can choose radio zone, manufacturer, next. You can set up notification just straight here, but you can uh, change later. And here is an important step you were asking. If you choose this second option, which says, I already have Sigfox connectivity, then you see here that we are not asking for the patch code. Um, and you have two options. You can, you can choose one year platform access straight, so you are all set, or you can choose this free 90 days uh, free platform access. And that's it. You add a name, you accept uh, general terms and condition and uh, uh, privacy policy, and you are all set on our platform. Then, because you are using your own connectivity, 
you have to go to uh, backend sigfox.com and uh, navigate the callbacks to our platform and how to do that just go to our website go to support and here you see guides for end users and choose uh, you have these two options new device registration it means if you have uh, if you want to buy the connectivity from us but if you have your own connectivity go uh, to connecting devices with existing connectivity and here it was made by Pavel uh, uh, you see the the step-by-step -step how to add the callbacks there are three, three callbacks uh, in total and how to add these callbacks that will ensure that the message from your device that is connected to Sigfox with your own connectivity is properly sent to IOFROG. So for example, uh, here callback number one, you, this, is, this, this is mandatory. You have to, uh, you have to create data bidder or data uplink, uh, data uplink uh, type of callback. And here is a body you have to uh, you have to enter uh, so this uh, time sequence number and the payload is uh, sent to us in the same way uh, you can add callback number two for data advance if you want to uh, use uh, geolocation uh, service uh, and callback number three is about uh, acknowledge of um, updated uh, downlink setup. Uh, maybe one comment about um, uh, call callback number two. Uh, you must have, this is what is here in bold, you must have a geolocation uh, on, on your contract. If you don't have, uh, Sigfox backend does not allow you to, uh, to enter uh, this, uh, th this callback. I, I quickly switch to backend to show you how it's done in reality. So th th this is how it should how it should look like. So here you have a particular device type and uh, here you see these three uh, callbacks that are set that will ensure that uh, all messages are directed to this uh, URL uh, with this body okay so to to, to, to sum it up uh, you have to do two uh, two tasks in IOfrog you register device choosing uh, uh, the option I have my own connectivity and in a Sigfox uh, backing uh, sorry backing sigfox.com you have to set up the callbacks uh, once I, you complete both steps it's done okay I have just maybe one comment that IOFROG can also massively import so if you have hundreds of devices so it can be imported uh, at once, I, I'm not sure what the David has inter, the, like the user interface for it, but it's definitely doable. So you don't need to provide to provision the device one by one if, if it's already deployed, uh, but you can do you can deploy it massively. True. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a user uh, user interface for this. We we do that uh, based on uh, based on the ticket. Um, so yeah, but it's 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 possible. Uh, did we answer Nicolas your question? Can you provide us with feedback whether we, 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 we answered that? The other question is from Enrique Garcia. He's asking about uh, whether we can do white label for a few units. Uh, one of the things that we are thinking that it would be currently it's uh, the, the white labeling is, is done only for from some kind of minimal minimal number of units. But we are thinking of uh, allowing it, you know, if you pay uh, some minimal amount of money, 
uh, both IOFROC and we need to make money. We need to survive. So uh, if you would pay some uh, some amount of yep. money, uh, David can do definitely white labeling even if you have just one device. It's a matter of it's a matter of efficiency of nothing else. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, whether we have a trial version, there's a trial version of IOFOC for three months, so you are free to you are free to use the IOFOC uh, three months free of charge. If, if you have your own connectivity, of course, yes. Yeah. If you don't have at this moment, we don't have such an option because we have to pay for the connectivity to a Sigfox provider as well. That's, that's one of the frequent frequent requests that I have to seek foxes to allow uh, like shorter connectivity contracts, but it's complicated. So, okay. any other question? Or any feedback? You know, whether you whether it was uh, it was it was uh, valuable for you or. If it, it was too technical or too little technical, any feedback would be appreciated. Or what are the features that you would like to see? What are the use cases that you are solving? That that would be. Can you show us in the meantime, uh, David, maybe switch to Japanese so we can see it in Japanese. We have Japanese <laughs> Yeah, but we, ha we have, a, we have a, our Japanese friends here <laughs> connected, I see. Uh, so. And yeah, and, and I have to say uh, that this, this Japanese is, uh, is uh, done with a big help of them. So thank you to Kyoshi and, and, and uh, the friends. So not everything is I see I see not everything is, is stop position not everything is, is localized but most of the stuff is, is localized. So uh, thanks everyone for attention. If you would have any more questions, don't uh, you can contact us or IOFROG. Feel free. Uh, we are also inviting you for the uh, next webinars that are uh, coming in next week. I hope. No, 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 on uh, November 13th, Ingredients of Successful IoT Project Delivery, that was, that was the winner of one of the contests. And uh, the, the stuff about the ECRG set correct temperature, the, the, the webinar about the, uh, the cold chain monitoring. We could add one more webinar, it's, uh, there's something new, uh, because we'll be introducing some new products from Simple Hardware. Will be will be really really uh, will be showing our roadmap, and we have made some nice progress with the new products. Uh, so we could add one more webinar. Please uh, stay tuned to our newsletter, where we'll be announcing those new products and new webinar about them. So uh, thanks everyone for your attention and have a beautiful whole day in Americas. Uh, beautiful afternoon. We have nice sunny weather here in Prague. Uh, to, to Europe and good night for Japan and enjoy. Yep. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you, everybody.